We are 19 people, those we have six women, we have gay people, uh, we have people of different races, uh, come from different countries. Uh, we have uh, more than half of those women are in leading uh, capabilities, three leads and one office manager. So uh, we have a, a pretty diverse studio without us working on having a diverse studio. It's, it's been completely... Natural. Natural, yeah. It's, uh, uh, I always uh, looking for talent and commitment. And all this diversity uh, came to us in a natural way. Mm -hmm. Once, once one person uh, of a specific background has a view, other people of the same background will slowly stick to that view. But when other people from, from other backgrounds start seeing the project, they will provide a completely different feedback. And that will affect the project, making it larger and, and more interesting. Would you ever employ someone just because they don't feel like No, no, no. We are, I don't think so. <laughs> as I said before, we are looking for talent and commitment. Doesn't matter uh, if it's a woman or, a, or black or whatever. Uh, for me, this is the most important thing. You can do the job. We don't want to to try to to balance or to 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 read some some standards. No, uh, okay, you need more women. No. If she has talent, of course, she, she is welcome to the, to the studio. But uh, make that not naturally with this pretension, for me, it's a mistake. David spends hours looking through resumes and portfolios. And when he sees something that makes him smile or makes him, I, I can see the the shine in his eyes. Yes, suddenly. and sometimes uh, I, I don't, don't wait to, to receive the, the mails. I prefer to, to navigate and investigate looking for new talent. I think the 84% of the people who is working now with us, I, I found them in that way, looking for myself and looking for talent and not waiting for someone who, who calls me or writes me. I think when you have a, a certain amount of uh, female workers in, in the company, it helps to increase the amount of, of women you have. Of course, as long as they feel happy and they feel that they are being treated equally and they feel safe and they feel happy, then it is easier. You will start receiving more and more women because they, they will notice that if they go to LinkedIn, uh, candidates will see that there are a lot of women in, in the studio. Uh, also, the women will call other women, other female friends to come here join. Once uh, a candidate, a female candidate, visits the studio for an interview, for example, they, they will notice the diversity and, and how it is a plural company. So there are more possibilities of that person joining and also staying in the company because you can uh, join in a lot of uh, female candidates, uh, gay, black, Asian, it doesn't matter. If they don't feel happy, they will leave. For me, uh, this diversity is very good for the game because we are trying to create different characters, different walls. I, I can write a woman character, but I'm not a woman. So the perspective of a real woman with real problems, is so important to me because I can make that character more realistic, more empathic. With the, with, the, with the gamers, no? with, the, with our clients. So for me, it's, it's, uh, it's very helpful. Well, if someone asks you, can you have a seminar on how to have a diverse team? Could we do that in a good way? Or <laughs> uh, I, I believe uh, it will be impossible for me to give a seminar. The only advice I can give is to be respectful of all and 
to have a welcoming mind. That's everything I can say. Don't, don't uh, judge prematurely anyone. Don't uh, concentrate on uh, certain people that come from certain universities or certain uh, companies. Look for that magic that, that David always looks for. This is the area of Quintana. The office is right there. Uh, very interesting neighborhood. Uh, working class, residential, full of bars, restaurants, stores. People in the office come out uh, when they finish work and have some tapas, some drinks. Very close to the center, 15 minutes by metro. And very close to places like Ventas and the airport over there. At, at that point in time, uh, GDC was out of the question. We were also basically out of resources, no money. Uh, we have invested a lot of uh, effort and, and uh, resources and everything to make that trip happen. And we had nothing. It was one of the most horrible moments and, and we were fearing for, for the continuation of the project. It felt like the world gave us a second chance. It was now or never, right? So in, in that event, we had a, our first meeting with Amplifier and we felt uh, a connection. It, 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 sounds, it sounds tacky, but it's true. Uh, both. It's so complicated because when you treat with, with uh, people, they have a lot of not only technical problems, but personal problems, and I, I care about that. And it's, it's a lot of decisions, a lot of uh, empathy, a lot of communication, but in the other side is so... Uh, Rewarding. Rewarding, yes, of course. I, I couldn't be happier that, that we are able to, to have all this coming from almost nothing, right? To being here, having a real project, a real company, fighting to make an amazing game. That is, that is the, a challenge every day, but also uh, a dream every day. Fire!